Ardwan Publishing House present The Dancing Fairies Once upon a time on the Swedish island of Gurv there lived a servant called Little Anders He worked as a groom in the stables of Mr Strala the clergyman Now little Anders was a dreamer. He dreamt all day and all night about elves and fairies, and he often fell asleep when he was supposed to be working. And one hot midsummer's day, he slept right through the afternoon. "Wake up, little Anders," said his master. "It's late. Hurry down to the meadow and fetch my horse. We must lock him up safely before dark or the fairies will whisk him away." The full midsummer moon was shining brightly by the time little Anders reached the meadow. Suddenly he heard the strangest music from far above his head. Then as he listened, a cloud of winged fairies sailed down a moonbeam and landed in the middle of a circle of dark grass where they danced to the music of a fairy orchestra. Leading them was their queen. who was taller than the others and very beautiful she wore a silver crown and her dress sparkled with precious stones little anders crept closer and closer to watch then the queen called out stop there's a stranger present the music ceased and the dancers stood like statues you would better go home said the queen turning to little anders Or you may find yourself bewitched. I'd rather dance with you, he replied. And no sooner had he spoken than he found himself in the middle of the fairy ring with the queen in his arms. They danced for hours. But then the queen cried out, "Stop! It's almost cockcrow. It's time we were back in fairyland." and the fairies flew off leaving poor anders dancing by himself his master found him there in the morning still dancing he danced all the way home and he danced up and down the stairs he danced all day and he danced all night indeed he danced for 3 whole days <coughs> then nearly a month later on the night of the full moon Little Anders climbed out of his window just before midnight and ran all the way to the meadow. Once again he heard the wonderful music and saw the fairy dancers sailing through the sky led by their queen. This time she seemed more beautiful than ever. Folding their wings, they all began dancing with Anders and the queen in the center of the fairy ring. and as before they danced happily until dawn then the queen said stop it's almost cockcrow and we must be off goodbye little anders hurry home no shouted anders this time i'm going with you and clutching the queen's robe He sailed with her upper moonbeam and into the sky. The other fairies following behind. But this wasn't the last of little Anders. Old Mr. Strala told everyone that on midsummer nights when the moon was full, he would see Anders dancing in the meadow from midnight until cockcrow, circled round by all the winged creatures of fairyland. He danced in the arms of the beautiful fairy queen. Thank you.